Hello, everyone. I'm Jessica, and welcome to Learning English with Jessica. In this video, we're going to listen and practice our English through many different conversations. You can play it again repeatedly while engaging in other activities to help your brain memorize the language. Be patient, and you will swiftly improve your speaking and listening skills. Now, let's jump right into the video. Hmm. What should I do for the video this week? Shall I read some comments for new ideas? Wow, thank you guys for always supporting me. I can see a lot of comments about speaking skills. A lot of people suggest that I should share some tips to speak English. Some audiences said they could understand English, but they couldn't communicate with the native speakers. Some also said that they didn't feel confident when they talk because their pronunciation hadn't improved. And some even shared that they always feel anxious about their speaking skills. I can understand the problems that you guys shared with me. Speaking English seems easy, but it's actually one of the most difficult skills. Each person should have their own learning method to improve their English. In today's video, I will share some tips to speak English fluently for beginners and I will give you some speaking practice exercises. So let's watch until the end and improve your speaking with me. Number one, don't be afraid to make mistakes. Let's have a look at this example first. So, can you tell me more about your family? Um, well, my family has four people. And? Well, so, my father is, you know, Actually, my mom works, um, I don't know how to say that word, but how can I say, OMG, I really don't know how to talk about my family. Will she laugh at me? All right, guys, do you have the same problems as this guy? For beginners, we tend to overthink that we will make a lot of mistakes while speaking, and we are afraid that other people will judge us. We are worried we will use the wrong vocabulary or make grammatical errors. But guys, let's keep calm and take a deep breath. Sometimes even native speakers make mistakes. No one can be perfect. The first thing to put in your mind is if you want to improve speaking, you need to speak. You can speak to yourself or find a friend to practice with, especially someone who has the same learning goal as you. Practice, practice, and practice. Always remember that practice makes perfect. Number two, learn new words and use what you've learned immediately. If you learn new vocabulary every day, that's a good thing. However, taking notes is not enough. If you fail to apply the vocabulary into your daily life, you will not remember any words in the long term. I suggest that you should make a sentence or an example with every word that you've learned. For example, one of today's new words is animal. Now, let's create your own sentence with this word. Let me do it first. I like a lot of animals, such as rabbits, penguins, and lions. How about you? Can you make your own sentence? Please share it in the comment section. Don't just stop at creating examples. Let's try to think and speak in English. You have to use the words you learned in your daily life. I've made a lot of videos on how to think and speak in English. You can find it here. Or click on my YouTube channel to search for it. With this method, you will know how to use the vocabulary correctly. Try your best to practice speaking every day so that it will become your daily routine. Number three, listening. The more you hear, the easier it will be for you to speak better English. Have you ever heard of the shadowing method? Okay, so first, do you guys know what shadow means? It's the dark shape on a surface, right? Let's imagine that you are a shadow of the native speakers. You can start with singing songs in English or try to repeat the character's scripts in an English movie. Imagine that you are a singer or an actor and let's see how far you can copy-paste the native speaker's accent or their tone of voice. 
As for me, I usually watch my favorite YouTube channels or listen to podcasts on Spotify whenever I have free time. While listening, I also try to repeat their sentences so as to improve my pronunciation. I also feel much more confident than just simply looking up the meaning and reading the words. You can also practice listening through my channel, Jessica. I have a lot of videos to show you how to practice your speaking and listening skills. You can find them here or click on the channel to learn more. All right, I hope that you guys can learn some speaking tips from me. Now it's time to practice. Practice speaking English. Hey, Mia, what are you doing? Me? I'm listening to music. Really? What songs are you listening to? I've been listening to Charlie Puth's songs lately. Oh, I'm also a big fan of his song. I know, right? I really enjoy his music. Actually, listening to music is one of my hobbies. I love finding new songs in my free time. So do I, and I also dance while listening to music. Is that so? Do you like dancing? Definitely. I'm really into dancing. I can dance to any kind of song. Do you have other hobbies? Hmm. Let me see. Okay, so I'm also interested in watching movies. What movie genres do you watch? Horror and sci-fi movies are my cup of tea. Wow, that's interesting. We should watch some sci-fi together. Why not, right? What about you? Do you like anything else rather than listening to music? I'm also fond of sports. What sports do you play? I can play badminton, basketball, and tennis. Oh, and I also learned how to swim. You are so sporty. Can you teach me how to play basketball? I really want to try, but I don't have a friend to practice with. Absolutely. Tell me whenever you're free. I'll show you how to play basketball. Really? Thank you so much. Hey, Mia, what are you doing? Really? What songs are you listening to? Oh, I'm also a big fan of his song. So do I, and I also dance while listening to music. Definitely, I'm really into dancing. I can dance to any kind of song. Do you have other hobbies? What movie genres do you watch? Wow, that's interesting. We should watch some sci-fi together. I'm also fond of sports. I can play badminton, basketball, and tennis. Oh, and I also learned how to swim. Absolutely. Tell me whenever you're free. I'll show you how to play basketball.
Oh my God, guys, you did a great job on this lesson. Whenever you try to speak English with somebody, it's already an achievement and self-development. Be proud of yourself for your hard work. Start little by little. You'll soon realize that you are improving your English. Learning English is still a long journey, but I'll always be here to accompany you guys. Hold your horses. I am planning to quit my job this month. What? I just can't bear it anymore. I'm so stressed. Just hold your horses. Anna, let's think about this for a moment. I've been thinking about it for months. I thought it was your dream job. Yeah, it was. So why? After a few months of working, I realized that the work environment did not fit my career path. Well, what's your next move? I don't know yet. My first priority is to relax my mind. And then? And then I will look for other opportunities. Okay, I believe you can do your best. You have to take this tooth out. Excuse me, I have an appointment with Dr. Lee. What is your name, please? Anthony. Please follow me. Dr. Lee is in the second room. Thank you. Hi, Dr. Lee. Hi, Mr. Anthony. Why are you here today? My wisdom tooth hurts. For how long? Four days. Okay, let me check it first. Can you open your mouth, please? Yes. A bit wider. Is everything okay? You've got a bit of decay in this one. Is it serious now? Yeah. You have to take this tooth out. Oh my gosh. No worries. You will feel better right after it is removed. I'd like to have an eye test, please. Good morning. May I help you? Hi. I'd like to have an eye test, please. Sure. Have you booked an appointment yet? No. I didn't know if we have to book appointments in advance. Oh. Then please come to the ticket printer and pick up your number. Where is it, please? It's over there in that left corner. Sure, thank you. By the way, how long do I have to wait? It depends on your number. Now it's the turn of number 35. I have number 50. There are still 15 people left. It's not too long. You'd better download the app and book an appointment next time. Do you have private medical insurance? Hi there. How can I help you? I want to buy some medicine that my doctor has prescribed. Can I see your prescriptions, please? Yeah, here they are. Thanks. You need to fill in the personal details from here. Sure. Don't forget to sign your name on the second page. Okay, I'm done. Do you have private medical insurance? Yes, I do. So please tick the box for insurance. They will cover 50% of the bill. Oh, I didn't know that. Thanks for letting me know. Please give me a few minutes. I will collect them for you. Sure. Here you go. Your medicines are all in the bag. Thank you so much. Could we have an extra bed? I 
Excuse me, how can I help you? I'd like to make a reservation for next weekend. So, Friday the 9th? Yes, it is. I'm afraid that we are totally booked on that day. So what about Saturday? Yes, we still have a room for Saturday the 10th. That's great. I want to book a room for three. We only have a couple's room available on that day. But we allow three adults maximum. There's only one bed in that room, isn't there? Yeah, only one bed. Could we have an extra bed? Yeah, but we will charge you an extra fee. How much is it? It's $30. It's okay for me. Where have you traveled from? Sorry for bothering you. How can I help you? Do you know where to change money? We can change money in a bank, or there is a money exchange booth in the airport. Where is it? It's over there on the left in the corner. Okay, thank you. I am also going there. Want to go with me? That's great. I'm traveling alone. Where have you traveled from? I've traveled from the UK. And you? I'm going to fly to Brazil. My next place is also Brazil. Hope we can meet each other there. As cool as a cucumber. How was Tom's interview? Well, it was all right. Did he pass? He is passionate about this job. Yes, of course. The feedback was great and he did well. Really? I was also surprised. It's unbelievable. I expected him to feel nervous before his interview. But he was cool as a cucumber. To be that confident, he must have prepared well. Yeah, though it was his major, he has a lot of knowledge about it. That's right. I haven't seen him since his interview. You should call him. Of course. I will call him tonight. It's a bit tricky. Hey, did you finish the assignment? Not yet, it's a bit tricky. Do you need any help? Not really, I'm still working on it. Hopefully everything will be done by this weekend. Yuck, do you think you have enough time to finish it? I hope so. I will begin writing it as soon as I have researched all the information. Cool. How about you? Have you finished it yet? I'm currently writing the final section of it. You are a star. So fast. To be honest, my brother learned the subject last year. I asked him some things. Good for you. Keep me updated. Thank you for your time today for the interview. Yeah, I hope that the feedback is positive and that we will have the opportunity to work together. I hope so. Do you have any questions for me? Yes. If I pass the interview, when will I start working here? The 1st of May. Does that date work for you? Yeah, I'm available to start on that day. Cool. And I want to know when the results will be available. Sorry for so many questions. I'm just really interested in this position at your company. The results will be set after seven days via email. If I pass all fail. Yeah. That's perfect. Please keep me updated. Thanks for the interview today.
buried with work. Emily, is that you? Why are you still here? I need to get something done. What? Are you still working? Come on, it's 10 already. I know, but it's because of me. I will not be able to complete it in time. You've been buried with work the whole day. You need to take a rest. I'm all right. I will be here for only 15 more minutes. Okay, you better rest after. And you? Why are you here? Oh, I forgot my wallet here. I came to collect it. Ah, uh, I see. Do you want to get a cup of coffee? That's great. Would you mind waiting for me for a few minutes? Not at all. I have time. You should avoid alcohol. Let me tell you, Leah, the party last night was lit. Jamie, are you drunk again? Even when we're at the hospital. Come on, you only live once. I'm just here for a regular checkup. Oh, it's my turn. I'm going to go in and see the doctor. Is everything okay? What did the doctor say? Oh, I messed up, dude. The doctor said if I didn't quit drinking, I'll need proper therapy and treatment. And it's getting worse. I'm so sorry to hear that. Jesus, you should avoid alcohol. I know, I know. Hey, what's that? Oh, the poor man got drunk, then crashed his car into a bridge. Seriously injured. Gosh, I need to stop drinking. Right. Drinking is fun sometimes, but the consequences are not worth it. I'd like to transfer some money to this account. Hi, sir. What can I do for you? Unbelievable. My son hasn't got the money I sent last week. I'm sorry to hear that, sir. The receiving bank takes extra time to process it, so your recipient will get the money by Wednesday. Wednesday, Lord. Whatever. Well, now, I'd like to transfer some money to this account. Not my son's, though. For my aunt living in Israel. It's written here. Sir, this is an international bank transfer, so we need to convert currencies first. All right. So my aunt will get the money after two days as usual, right? Oh, I'm afraid to inform you of this, sir. Because of the Yom Kippur holiday in Israel, your transfer may be delayed a couple of days. Delayed again! Green with Envy Rob, I'm tired of all the cooking and cleaning stuff. Why don't we just eat out? Oh, honey, you know we're saving money. Next week, I'm going to take you to Taco Bell, okay? Taco Bell? Are you kidding me? Do you know that Samantha's husband took her to a five-star Michelin restaurant down in Manhattan yesterday? Her husband even plans to take her to Italy for their anniversary next week. Rachel, look at you. You're green with envy. Stop messing around. Well, look at my so-called husband. What did you get me for my birthday last year? You totally forgot. Jesus, years ago. Let it go, Rachel. Wait behind the yellow line. Mommy, look! The railway tunnel looks huge. But where's the train? The train hasn't come yet. Come and stand behind the yellow line, Luca. All right, Mommy. Oh, I want to see what's in there. 
Watch out! You shouldn't cross that yellow line. It's dangerous. Oh, my bad. Oh, is the train coming? Oh, yes, honey. It's our train. Can't wait. I'm going to go first. Let's go, Mom. Wait, Luca. The door hasn't opened yet. Remember what Mommy said. You wait behind the yellow line. Could you trim my beard, please? Oh my God, I can't believe this. Is that you, Jonathan? Hey, Benjamin, it's been five years, right? Oh, I almost didn't recognize you because of the beard. Gosh, it's driving me crazy right now. My daughter doesn't even talk to me. What? Are you serious? The little girl writes to you every week. I know, but she doesn't recognize me with this long and thick beard. She thought I was somebody else. Every time I try to give her a hug, she cries and pushes me away. Poor you. She was so little when you went overseas to work. You're right. Could you trim my beard, please? Sure. A bad hair day. Hi, Jesse. Oh my God, what's wrong with your hair? Hi, May. I woke up this morning and my hair was a mess. I decided to go to the salon to fix it and get a perm. Okay, but your hair doesn't seem to be fixed. I know. The hairdresser chopped off and then messed up everything. My hair is unevenly cut and I look like a lion. And I have a date tonight with Jim. I'm sorry about your hair, but I think it'll be all right. Hope so. Hey, Jesse. It's pretty windy here. Do you want to go inside? Um, sure. Oh, no. Ah, oh, don't look at me. My hair is crazy. I had a bad hair day. Oh, so that's why you're wearing a cap. Come on, Jesse. I don't mind it. You still look good. Just a bad hair day, not a bad day. On cloud nine. Helen, the landlord's here again for the rent. Just paid all my debt, and I'm totally broke right now. Oh, Laura, things will be sorted out. I don't even have a job. How are these bills going to get paid? I thought you had an interview last week. I did, but I think I'm going to fail that interview. They want a perfect fit for the position, requiring a lot of experience while I'm just a newbie. Never stop believing, Helen. You're going to get it, girl. Look, you have mail. Oh my God. Helen, I passed the interview. Can you believe it? I feel like I'm on cloud nine. Oh my, congrats. I'm sorry for your loss. Mike, hurry up. We're going to be late. But I want to go to the playground instead. Come on. We need to meet Grandpa's old friend. You'd better behave yourself today. Where are we going, Grandpa? Where's your friend? We're almost there. Look, Mike, this is my friend. We both served in the military 50 years ago. Same unit. We were very close then. Why is he dead? 
Oh, I feel like it just happened yesterday. It was a merciless fight. He took the bullet for me and saved my life. Oh, Grandpa, I'm sorry for your loss. There's a deposit of one month's rent. Hello, sir. What can I do for you today? Hey, I rented an office at the back of this building. Now I want to pay the rent to the account. Can I see the name on the account, please? Here you are. Sir, it seems like you need to pay a security deposit if you want to sign the lease. How much is that, by the way? There's a deposit of one month's rent, which is 2,000 US dollars. Gosh, I don't have that much in the account. Can I pay the rent first, then the deposit later? Sure, it would be 2,000 US dollars then. We better go back to our seats. Peter, the movie will start in 30 minutes. That's a lot of time. Do you want to get something to drink? Okay. Look, Jane, there's a poker machine here. Are you going to play poker here? Gosh, I thought you wanted something to drink. Relax, I'm going to just play for a couple of minutes. It won't take long. You got to be kidding me. Gosh, it's been more than 20 minutes. I think we'd better go back to our seats, Pete. Wait, just one more time. You said that the past 10 times. Let's go now. Okay, fine. Where's the mailbox? Mommy, I want to send this letter to my friend. Wow, you have a pen pal? Yes, she is Anna. Did you write her address and phone number yet on the receiving part? Yeah, I did. Look at it, Mommy. Great. Now, you should stick a stamp here. Stamp? What is that? It is a small piece of paper that needs to be attached to the letter. Oh, so I don't have it. Can you give me one? Sure. Let me help you stick it on. Thanks, Mommy. Then what should I do? Let's go to the mailbox. Where's the mailbox? It is on the next street. I'd like to open a personal account. Good afternoon. What can I do for you today? Hi, I'd like to open a personal account. What kind of bank account do you want to open? I don't know yet. Can you tell me about the types of accounts to choose from, please? We have checking accounts and savings accounts. I want to use it for daily transactions, such as buying things at the supermarket. You should open a checking account. Okay, I will open it. Sure. Can you give me your ID card or passport, please? Here you go. Please fill out this form for me. Sure. Please make sure that all signatures are similar. Okay. Hit the books. Do you see Danny anywhere? I think he's back home now. That's weird. He's never missed a football match before. He went home because of an upcoming test. It isn't even an important test. For him, it is super important. Why? He's in danger of failing, so he needs to go home early and hit the book. I thought his scores were good. Not at all. 
This semester, everything is a mess. Poor him. He must be very stressed. I think he should give up this silly club to focus on studying. I think so. His scores have been worse and worse since he joined it. Stab someone in the back. Do you know Max won't attend the concert anymore? Yeah, I heard about it. I can't believe it. He is the person who is most interested in it. Yeah, we received all the details from him and everything was arranged well. I don't know how it would be if our band missed him. I feel betrayed, as though he had stabbed us in the back. I think he has his own reasons for giving up. This concert is his dream. Do you think we should sit down and talk with him seriously? I tried, but he refused to say anything about it. Sit tight. Mommy, when is our turn? Soon. Look, we have number 19, and now it is the turn of number 15. How long will you stay there? Not too long. I will return immediately when I'm done. Okay. Number 19, please come to gate B. Okay. Honey, sit tight. I will come back as soon as possible. Okay. If you are bored, you can read the book in my bag. I don't like to read books anymore. Can I play video games? It's okay. You can keep my phone. Great. I will sit nicely. Good girl. I will be back soon. Can you translate this for me? Excuse me, can you speak English? Hi, yes, what can I do for you? Thank God, finally, I found a person who can speak English. Yeah, people in this town are not really good in English. Can you translate this for me? I'm not really good at it, but I will try my best. Yeah, thanks so much. They said that your hotel was booked and you can check in at 2 p.m. That's all? Yep, that's all. Are you a tourist? Yeah, I just arrived here two hours ago. I'm looking for the way to my hotel. This town has many beautiful destinations. Enjoy! Please take me to this address. Taxi! Taxi! Hi, where do you want to go? Please take me to this address. Oh, wow. It is quite far from here. How far away is it from here? More than 30 driving minutes. How much does it cost? Around $50. It's okay. Right. And don't forget to wear a seatbelt, please. Of course, thanks. Are you new in this town? Yeah, I just moved here last week. How do you know that? Normally, people have preferred to travel by train than by taxi if the distance is far like this. I'm scared of snakes. Mommy! I'm so excited about camping tomorrow with my friends. Did you prepare well for it? Yes, I prepared some things, but I think it's not enough yet. What have you prepared already? I prepared a coat and a teddy bear. Have you put your hat in your bag? Oh my, I almost forgot it. Let me put it in. Did you prepare rain boots? I chose sandals. No, you should wear rain boots in case there's a puddle or insect. Are there snakes? I'm scared of snakes. No, it is safe. No worries.
You look very good in that suit. Good morning. What are you looking for? Hi, I'm looking for a suit. Can you give me some advice, please? Which color do you prefer? I like neutral colors, such as black, brown, or gray. Okay. And what about patterns? Do you want a suit with patterns on it? No, I don't think it fits me. So what about this one? I don't like it much. Do you have other options? What about this one? This color is trending this year. It looks great. Can I try it on? Sure. The fitting room is over there. Thanks. How do I look? You look very good in that suit. Does it fit you? Yeah, I will take it. The flight was canceled due to the storm. Excuse me, I'm on a flight to New York. When will it depart? It looks like it will be delayed by at least two hours. What? Why? It's because of the storm. Oh my gosh, that's annoying. I'm so sorry. I will keep you updated. Thanks. Hopefully everything is fine. My apologies. The flight was canceled due to the storm. Oh my, what should we do now for crying out loud? I'm so sorry. We cannot do anything else now. We will help you to change your ticket. That's not the matter. I have a four o'clock meeting in New York. Excuse me, could you hail a taxi for me, please? Gosh, Lily, hold my hand. Stop running around. It's very crowded here. You might get lost. Daddy, there are so many flowers over here. Jesus, let me hail a taxi. Gosh, why do you keep crying? Lily, come back here now. Don't let me count to three. Daddy, where's mom? I want mommy. Now we're gonna go see mommy. Excuse me, could you hail a taxi for me, please? I'm struggling to hail a cab here. Well, don't worry, sir. Let me help you out. Jesus, thank you so much. I need a taxi to the main square. I got it, sir. One second, I'm gonna make a call. It's all set, sir. Your taxi will be here in five minutes. Oh, finally. Thank God. When pigs fly. Jesus, you're still asleep? Oh my, what time is it now? Gosh, Leah, it's 2 p.m. and you're still asleep. All you do is party all night and come home late. Don't be a spoil sport, Michelle. The party last night was lit. You should have been there instead of staying at home reading all those boring books. Yeah, because those so-called boring books don't get me an F like your cool party. And I gotta tell you, the final exam is next week. You'd better get ready for it. Wait, what? OMG, how can I not know this? Jesus, can I borrow your notes? Gosh, you don't even go to class. Well, I'll wake up early tomorrow then. You only do that when pigs fly, Leah. I know you so well. How many bags can I check in? Please, put your luggage over here, sir. Well, 
I have this big suitcase and I don't know if I can check it. Uh, how many bags can I check? Well, each passenger can either check two bags with one carry-on or check one bag with two carry-on luggage, sir. I already have two bags for carry-on though, so I guess I can only check one? Sir, I'm afraid that your maximum luggage size is 62 linear inches. Yours is already over 70 inches. Aw, oh, gosh. But I can't leave my things, though. And for domestic flights, the maximum weight limit for each checked bag is no less than 50 pounds, sir. Aw, oh, no. Mine's already over 80 pounds. Um... I'm wondering, uh, what would happen if my luggage is over the set limit? Well, you'll have to pay an additional fee for that, sir. And normally we charge $100 for each oversized or overweight luggage. Oof, okay, I see. Well, I, I guess I have no choice then. I'll pay 100 bucks more for that. Please lay your bags flat on the conveyor belt and use the bins for small objects. Please lay your bags flat on the conveyor belt and use the bins for small objects. Okay. Now uh, please walk slowly through our metal detector here. Can you take off your shoes please? Got it. Oh, what happened? Can you step back? Are you wearing any necklace, bracelets, or something? I don't think so. Oh, maybe some coins in my pocket? Let me take them out. Okay, now please walk through it one more time. Are you sure you've already left every metal thing out? I did. I, I didn't bring any. Oh! I have my belly button pierced. I'm gonna take it out, I I'm so sorry. It's okay, sir. Now you can pass through the detector again? Sure, hope it's okay this time. You're all set, have a nice flight. Save for a rainy day. Oh, I'm gonna love all of this, Linda. The prices of every clothing item here are daylight robbery, Anne. Come on, Linda. Look at the color of this dress. Isn't it amazing? I gotta live from hand to mouth until the end of this month if I buy one. This red dress is a bit overpriced. It's not gonna break the bank, Linda. Treat yourself. You've been working so hard. Well, I can treat myself to a hot chocolate while watching my favorite movie at home, though. Gosh, don't be that boring, Linda. You want to buy a new dress? You have plenty of them already. Gotta save for a rainy day. Well, I have a date tonight, and I want to dress up a little bit. My old ones are not good enough. And look, this one is on sale. I think I'm going to get a pretty good deal, don't you think? Even when it's on sale, the price is still a bit too high, though. But it looks good. I'm going to buy it anyway. A Couch Potato Hey, it's your turn to pick up Miley after school, Jay. Don't you see I'm in the middle of the game? Let me rest. Jesus, lazy bones, get up from the sofa. You've been like this the whole day. Stop being a couch potato. I'm not. I'm just trying to entertain myself a little bit. You're just in the kitchen all day and talking. Excuse me? I'm making dinner for you. Gosh, pull yourself together and get a job. It's been five months already since you quit your last job. Come on, 
I've been calling around and reaching out to some of my friends for an opportunity. It takes time. If you want to get one, be more of a go-getter. Stop waiting for it. Okay, fine. I'm gonna pick the kid up from school. Where can I get my shoes polished? Good morning, I'm Sean. Uh, I came here for the monthly project. Hello, Sean, I'm Andy, chief manager. Jesus, what happened? You're covered in dust. You're telling me, why is it so hard to navigate around here? It took me two hours to get here. The airport is 10 minutes away from here. I know, but I made a wrong turn and then I had an accident. An accident? You okay? What happened? It's just a small accident. I was riding a bike when a cat came out of nowhere. I grabbed the front brake lever so hard that it caused a skid and I fell off. Oh my god, are you okay? Do you need to go to the hospital? Ah, oh, I'm good, thank you. Luckily, I didn't hurt a bit, just some bruises. But there are scuffs and scratches all over my shoes. Oh, you can bring them to the shoe repair store. They they'll fix it. Where can I get my shoes polished? You can go to the Cobbler Express on Park Avenue. You just need like eight to 10 bucks to get it done. Super fast. Better safe than sorry. Wow, the weather's very nice today, Liam. Yeah, the sky is clear and it's warm. I think I'm gonna love it here in London. Are you ready for a picnic? Do you think we should buy anything else? Perhaps I'll go to the convenience store to buy two raincoats. What for, dude? Come on, stop being a worry ward. Liam, it's literally sunny out there. Better safe than sorry, Leo. You'll see. What a downpour. I can't even see the road clearly. Such changeable weather. Told you, you never can tell. Jesus, it's bucketing down. How can we go in this terrible weather? I think when the rain lets up, we'll continue the picnic. I can't believe this. It's sunny again. What happened with the weather in London? Wait, it's sunny, but it's still drizzling. Yeah, I think it's time for the raincoats to do their job. What kind of public transportation is near your apartment? Good morning, Dan. How are you today? Hey, Charles. I'm looking for an apartment and it's driving me crazy. Really? Why? They said there were no available apartments around Manhattan and they'd keep us in the loop. But it's been two weeks, and I didn't hear anything from him. I'm so sorry to hear that. But what kind of an apartment are you looking for, actually? Well, I'm going to share my apartment with my friends, so I guess we should keep an eye out for a well-equipped apartment with two bedrooms. Oh, wait. I have a spare apartment for rent on Broadway. It has two bedrooms a kitchen, and two bathrooms. The lease is for one year. Really? Gosh, how did I not know this? Oh, what kind of public transportation is near your apartment? There's a subway station, which is, uh... I guess it's 10 minutes away from the apartment. Wow, that's great.
How often do you eat fast food? Hey, Ella, how are you? Oh my God, Emma, what should I do now? What's wrong? Gosh, I gained weight again. Four more pounds. Jesus. I don't know why. Four pounds after two weeks. Four more pounds after two weeks. Yes, I made a pig of myself last week, eating so much junk food, then sleeping all day long. How often do you eat fast food? I'm not sure though, I guess. Every two days or more. I just don't have much time, so I just grab some hamburgers or chicken nuggets for lunch. For dinner, I'm too tired to cook, so... You order fast food again. Yeah, I do. You should be mindful of what you consume by cutting down on junk food. What do you think of this place? My friend told me that this place is awesome. What do you think of this place? You seem to be a bit down in the mouth, Nancy. What's wrong? I thought we'd go to a fancy restaurant. There should be a fine dinner served with silver cutlery, white tablecloth, roses and candles. Nancy, money doesn't grow on trees. We need to save the money in order to have a nice nest egg when we get married. This is so ridiculous. You can barely pay for my meal. How can you even think of marrying me? I don't have money to burn, Nancy. I think this restaurant is already good enough for our date. I've been looking forward to this for weeks. It's not good enough for me. I think we need to take a break. I need to think more about us. Come on, Nancy. Shall we present it at the meeting? Ready for the meeting next week? I've already done the data here. How about yours? Oh my God. I can't believe I forgot the meeting. It completely slipped my mind. You forgot this? Really? Gosh, my mind is completely blank. We already discussed that you'll prepare the data and I'll work with the tables and graphs, right? Yeah, there's a part demonstrating the data of customers last year. Shall we present it at the meeting? Yeah. Jesus, we're running out of time. Yeah, I think it's a bit pressed for time right now. You've got tons of things to do. Maybe I'll do the graph part to help you out. Gosh, you sure? I mean, you've already done a lot. Well, we have no time to lose now. My bad. I don't want you to get into trouble. I mean, you gotta do extra work because of me. What do you mean? Come on, it's all right. We're a team, right? You must be Anna. Oh gosh, Luna, this party is so dull. What's wrong with the band? I can't even listen to the music they're playing. You're right. I thought it would be lit like Hannah's party last week. Wait, Anna, check this out. Look at that guy over there. Oh, he's so fine. Where? I don't see him. The guy in red. Blonde hair in the corner there. See? He's with Jason. Oh, I see. Jesus, look at his eyes. This party is getting good, don't you think? Oh no. He's looking at us. Gosh, he's coming. Calm down, Anna. Be cool. Look at me. Hey, you must be Anna. 
Oh, hi. Um, do you know me? Of course, I'm Kyle. We met last week. Your name rings a bell, but I don't really... We met last Sunday, Hannah's party. All right. Jesus, how can I forget? Good to see you here. Me too. Well, it seems like this party's kind of lame. You think? Gosh, I know. It's so boring here. Want to get out of here? I mean, we can get something to drink and... Sure. Do you work with the digital team? Good morning, everyone. Today, I'm honored to introduce our new manager, Mr. Dennis. Hello, everyone. I'm Sean Dennis. You can call me Sean. Hi, Sean. I'm Jay. I'm from the marketing team. You look so familiar. I think you've been here before. Ah, uh, you have such good memory. Well, I've been here for the New Year project last year. Right, I remember it now. Do you work with the digital team? I did. I'm mainly in charge of marketing and planning. So I work with the digital team a lot. Nice, that's good. The digital team leader here is uh, Gina, right? That's right, she's over there. The new project keeps her so busy these days. It's all one. We're so happy for you, Eleanor. How do you feel right now? I'm okay, just tired. Welcome, little one. Gosh, she looks like an angel. How do you decide your child's name? My wife and I just chop and change a lot with the baby's name. Do you have anything in mind yet? I want to name him after my great-grandfather, Marlo. Don't you think the name is a bit too boyish? What do you think about the name Andy? Oh, I don't know. I'm thinking about something like Macy or something. What do you think, honey? To me, it's all one, though. Be in two minds. Hi there! Oh, hey, Claire. You came just in time. I got you some snacks. Oh, thanks. Jesus, Zoe, I'm gonna go nuts. What's wrong? My mom just called me. She told me to come home this Sunday. She's throwing a big party this weekend. You're also invited. That's nice. But why do you look so worried? Andy will come there too. Oh, wait. Is that the guy you ghosted last week? Yeah, it's going to be so awkward if he sees me there. What should I do now? Wait, why is Andy invited? That's so confusing. His mother is my aunt's friend. They'll come over for the party. This is a family gathering. Oh, this makes so much sense now. Jesus. I was in two minds whether or not to come. You're supposed to be there, Claire. I guess so. How long does it take you to finish a book? Well, um, I wonder if I can borrow this book. You haven't returned the book you borrowed last week yet. And seven more. I thought you came here to return some of them. Um, yeah, I know. But I haven't finished any of those books yet. Gosh, how long does it take you to finish a book? Do you know that it's already overdue? Really? Which one? I'm afraid that there's not only one. Uh, there's four of them. The Atlas 6, Code Complete 2 and 3, and... Wait, 
I thought I could keep them three weeks after borrowing. It's been about two weeks, I guess. Oh, that's our old rule. Now you can only keep library books for no more than two weeks. And the line for each overdue book is ten dollars now, Isla. Jesus. Do you enjoy spicy food? This is my favorite restaurant, Liz. I bet you'll like it here. Oh, this is nice. Thank you for taking me out for dinner. I've never tried Chinese food. Just been in Chinatown for several times, though. Are you serious? Gosh, you're missing out on so many things. What do you want to try, Liz? Oh gosh, I don't even know, Dylan. This is my first time here, so I guess you take the charge then. Well, okay. Um, do you enjoy spicy food? Yeah, I love spicy food. Perfect. So I guess we're gonna have this one here and this one too. The food will be ready soon. Thank you. What does your father do? Good evening, Mr. and Mrs. Wood. I'm Cody, Henry's friend. Hi, Henry. Hello, dear. We heard a lot about you. Come in. I brought some chocolate. Hope you like them. Ah. Oh. That's so thoughtful. You know, you don't need to do that, though. Take a seat. Thank you, Mr. Wood. Well, Cody, I don't know if these suit your taste. Mrs. Wood, all of these foods are amazing and look so mouthwatering. I'm glad you like it. So, you live in King Street, don't you? Yeah, I live with my parents and my older brother, who is three years older than me. What does your father do? I don't know what it is called. My father always works with drawings and pictures of houses and buildings. Sometimes I see him editing them on the computer too. I think he's an artist. Oh, well, I guess your father is a designer. Knock someone for six. Hey, Hazel. How's it going? I heard the test was so tough. I tried my best. Hope it's gonna be all right. Gosh, you always say that and get flying colors in all subjects. I just got lucky, I guess. Where's Mason? I didn't see him this morning. I came across Mason this morning, and he seemed to be down in the mouth. Why? Oh, his grandmother passed away yesterday. The news knocked him for six. Oh my God! I didn't know this. He must be in shock. True, and I think it takes so much time to get over it. I think we can visit him after school today. Topic one. I was born in Cambridge, but I live in Glasgow. So, where are you from originally? I was born in Cambridge, but I live in Glasgow. Wow, that's quite a distance. What brought you to Glasgow? I moved here for work. I landed a great job opportunity. That's really interesting. Do you miss Cambridge? Yes and no. I miss my family and friends. But Glasgow has become my home now. It's a great city with so much to offer. I see. I've heard great things about Glasgow. Have you had a chance to explore the city? Yes, I have. There are so many great restaurants, shops, and cultural attractions. It's a really vibrant city with a lot going on. That sounds amazing. 
Maybe I'll have to visit Glasgow sometime. Definitely. I'd love to show you around. Topic 2. A new one on me. Have you tried this new restaurant on Main Street? No, I haven't. What's it called? It's called The Spoon. It's a fusion restaurant that combines Thai and Indian cuisine. That's a new one on me. I've never heard of that type of fusion before. Yeah, it's really unique. I went there last week and had the Pad Thai Carbonara. It was amazing. Wow, that sounds interesting. I'll have to check it out sometime. Definitely. They also have a great wine selection and their desserts are to die for. Thanks for the recommendation, Sophie. I'm always on the lookout for new and interesting places to try. Topic 3. Do you know where the subway is? Excuse me, do you know where the subway is? Sure, it's just down the street and around the corner. You'll see the entrance with the big S sign on it. Thank you, I'm trying to get to the museum, and I heard the subway is the easiest way to get there. Yeah, the subway is definitely the fastest and most convenient way. Which museum are you trying to get to? The Museum of Modern Art. Ah, uh, when you get off the subway, just turn right, walk a few blocks, and you'll see it on your left. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. No problem. Happy to help. Enjoy your visit to the museum. Topic 4. What type of websites do you often search for? What type of websites do you often search for? Well, it depends on what I'm looking for. If I need to buy something, I usually search for websites like Amazon or eBay. That makes sense. What about for research or information? For research or information, I usually go to Wikipedia or Google Scholar. They're great resources for finding reliable information. I agree. I also like to use social media websites like Twitter and Facebook to keep up with the latest trends. Do you know Reddit? I use that sometimes. It has a lot of interesting content. Yeah, I've heard a lot of good things about Reddit. I'll have to check it out sometime. Topic 5. The guards did not allow us to bring the camera in. Oh, I really wanted to take some photos of this beautiful painting. Me too, but the guards didn't allow us to bring the camera in. I know, it's such a shame, but I guess... We'll just have to appreciate the artwork with our eyes only. Yeah, it's still a great opportunity to see some amazing pieces up close. Absolutely. I love how this museum has such a diverse range of art from classical to modern. Me too. It's also really interesting to learn about the history and context behind each piece. Definitely. And the audio guide they provide offers a lot of insightful information. Yeah, I'm glad we decided to get the audio guide. It's enhancing the experience a lot. Agreed. Let's keep exploring. Topic 6. The Blue-Eyed Boy. Have you seen the blue-eyed boy that just moved in next door? No, I haven't. What's he like? He's really cute and seems really friendly. 
I saw him playing basketball in his driveway earlier. Well, that's cool. Is he around our age? Yeah, I think he's about our age. Maybe a year or two older. Well, maybe we should go introduce ourselves and welcome him to the neighborhood. That's a great idea. I'm sure he'd appreciate it. Definitely. And who knows, maybe we'll make a new friend. Yeah, I hope so. Let's go say hi to the blue-eyed boy. Topic 7. A Bolt from the Blue Did you hear what happened to Bill? No, what happened? He got fired from his job out of nowhere. It was a bolt from the blue. Wow, that's terrible. Do you know why he got fired? Apparently, the company was going through some financial trouble and had to make cuts. Bill was one of the people they decided to let go. That's really unfair. I hope he's doing okay. Yeah, me too. I heard he's been applying to other jobs, but hasn't had any luck yet. Well, maybe we can help him out. I know some people who are hiring in his field. That's a great idea. I'll let him know and see if he's interested. We'll make sure he lands on his feet. Topic 8. Could you take these trousers up an inch? Ha, ah, I need to get a suit tailored for a wedding next month. Sure thing. What kind of suit are you looking for? I was thinking something in a navy blue with a slim fit. Great choice. Uh, we can definitely make something like that for you. Let's get you measured. Sounds good. Uh, and while I'm here, could you take these trousers up an inch? Of course. Uh, I can also give them a slight taper if you'd like. That would be perfect. Thanks for your help. No problem. We'll have your suit ready for you in about a week. And if you need any other alterations, just let us know. Topic 9. What months have the best weather in your country? Hey, where are you from? I'm from Brazil. How about you? I'm from Canada. I'm planning to travel to Brazil someday. What months have the best weather in your country? It depends on where you're planning to go in Brazil, north or south. Probably the north. It's closer. Well, it's generally warm all year round in the north, but it can get pretty rainy from December to May. That's interesting. We have very different weather in Canada. Yeah, I've heard that Canada can get pretty cold in the winter. That's an understatement. <laughs> But we have some amazing winter activities, like skiing and ice skating, so it's not all bad. Topic 10. I have been playing badminton for five years. I'm thinking of taking up a new sport. Do you have any recommendations? Well... Have you considered badminton? Badminton? I've never played before. Is it hard to learn? It's not too difficult, and it's a lot of fun. Plus, it's a great workout. I've been playing badminton for five years now, and I love it. That sounds interesting. Where do you usually play? There's a community center near my house that has a badminton court. We play there every week. Maybe I'll check it out. It could be a fun way to get some exercise and meet new people. Definitely. And if you need any tips or advice, just let me know. I'd be happy to help you out. 
That's the end of the video. Thank you for watching. Remember to practice English every day to improve your skills. Watch the video at least three times a week and repeat daily conversations to improve your listening and speaking skills fast. Try to mimic the intonation and pronunciation in the video to enhance your speaking fluency and pronunciation. Don't forget to like, share, and comment on my video. Please subscribe to the Learn English with Jessica channel to watch more helpful videos.